Hi everybody, this is Nell Karoko again and today is Friday. It means it's Dialogue's Evil Basic Day. Okay, so this is uh, Dialogue's Evil 13 now that I'm using. I hope that you downloaded Dialogue's Evil 13 now in their website. So go and check that one. So for today, we will answer a question from one of my Udemy students that is from Taha. And she said that she wants to know how to put a dimensions on this warehouse area. So I think it's an outdoor lighting. It's very good because right now I have a project and it's all about road lighting and a little landscaping. So Taha, all you need to do is go to the plan view and then go to this text tab or helpline labeling. Check this uh, draw new dimension line and then put a dimension line in between of your luminaires. Okay, and then just drag like this. And if you want, you can precisely, this is 50.1 meter spacing. Okay, let's just keep that way. And then let's make the text a little large, yes. And then click somewhere. Oh, that text is too large. So let's have a normal one. Click somewhere, I think this is fine. And then if you want to add more, you can also do it on the other side. So just press this draw new dimension line and then click here. It will snap to the drawing if you have a drawing. If not, it will just find some reference. Okay, now this is 53. It should be all always 50. Okay, let's go to the normal and then there you go. Let's open my, yeah, I have reference line and it should be 50. Okay. I don't know what happened. So it should be 50. I should have clicked on my reference line. So go click on your um, dimension and then click on the reference line. Yeah, there you go. It should be there. And then extend your dimension up to there. And now you have your 50 meter spacing. Actually, you can just copy and paste. Can delete this one and then copy control c and control v the dimension all oh, right amazing click on the this um reference icon here and then move your dimension to the other side there you go okay so i think this is supposed to be here uh, okay i move it because there are trees here so that's why my, i put the pole on the other area Okay, anyway, so that's how you will do it. And now you will have your dimension and then of course select the normal there. Now you have your dimension. So if you go to the documentation, go to the documentation tab and you will see now that you have your dimension. Go and zoom it. It's a little small right now because um, we have a big area. So you can see it there. It's, it says the dimension is there, okay? So that's how you do it. You can also do it in the interior lighting or indoor lighting. So yeah, that's how you can do it. Actually, if you want to see it more, I can increase the text so you can see it on the lighting layout. So let's go and make it large. Yep, make it large so you can see it in the documentation. There you go. Now you can see 50 meters and then 53.41. Okay, so that's how you will do it, Taha. So don't get frustrated if you cannot, <laughs> cannot do anything with your dimension line. You need to do it manually. Okay, so that's it for now for the Dialogs Evo Basics. See you again on the next video. Bye.